Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Turian's Adventures. Today, we are going to be playing the demo for Lord Winklebottom Investigates. Now, you might recognise this from Turian's trailers a couple of months ago. I've been eagerly awaiting this demo, so we're going to jump in and see what it's all about. But I'm really, really looking forward to this one, so here we go. Oh my god, he's dead! The master's dead! So we saw that little clip in the trailer, didn't we? So it's starting off right from here, which is great. Oh, look at this. This looks awesome. I love the vibe of this already. There we are, the giraffe. Well then, Brumble, that was quite the case, wasn't it? Oh, indeed so. Already made the evening edition, don't you know? I picked up a copy when I went to buy the boat ticket. We'll be quite the heroes, I think. Hopefully they don't dwell too much on the part where one of the weasel gang cracked you over the head with a pool cue and nearly made off with all the gold, eh? <laughs> Richard Blighter called me from behind. Just not cricket, is it? Oh, it's Still great. all worked out in the end, my friend. And just in time, too, as we have this party with Admiral Guilfrey to attend. Look, who is this chap anyway, Winklebottom? Guilfrey's an old school friend of mine, top of his class, went on to become an admiral. Then, latterly, undertook a number of privately funded expeditions to all four corners of the globe. Oh, a bit of a swat then, eh? We have no time for his sort of advice, Paul. <laughs> Evidently so, my friend. Right, let's get this boat ticket and be on our way. Where is the ticket anyway, Frumple? Oh, I slipped it in the newspaper for safekeeping. Good idea, Frumple. I love how, like, classically British this is already. It's fantastic. Let's, uh, oh, it's tea. You know, you can't have a British, British anything without tea, can you? One of Frumple's many teacups. Proper teacup with a saucer as well. That's the only way to drink tea. A pot of tea. It's still brewing. Very nice. And we've got the milk. A jug of milk. Delivered fresh this morning, I believe. Indeed, yes. Miss Daisy brought it over personally. So I know the devs asked a question on Twitter and did a little poll about how to make a cup of tea correctly. So, as far as I know, I've always been told that if you're making tea in a teapot and not just putting the, the tea bag directly into the cup, you put milk in first, brew the tea, and then pour the tea on into the cup that already has the milk in it. If you're using a, a tea bag, then you put the tea bag in, you pour the hot water in, let it brew, take the tea bag out, and then pour the milk on. That is sort of making tea 101 from a British person, all right? So <laughs> I don't want to have any arguments in the in the comments. I know some of you are going to be like, no, Turian, you're wrong. That's not how you make tea. It's how you make tea, all right? So let's get on with this newspaper. A touch sensational, but they appear to have got most of the salient facts correct. Never mind all that. What did it say about me? <laughs> yeah. Ah, well, let me see. Yes, here it is. Lord Winklebottom was assisted, as ever, by his associate, Mr. Frumble. Mr. Dash it all. I didn't spend eight years in medical school just to be called Mr. <laughs> bunch of bloody hacks. Well, never mind that now, old boy. We have to get going if we'd catch this boat before nightfall. No, I'm quite vexed now. I can't believe <laughs> until I've had a fresh cup of tea to calm me down. This one's practically tepid. Oh, oh very well. God. I'll make you a fresh cup. The pot should be ready now. Ah, here's the ticket. I'll keep hold of this for now. Yeah, let's keep that safe. Right, it's in our invent. Trust me, I know people exactly like this. Like, I'm not going anywhere until I've had a cup of tea. Trust me, it's, it's a thing. Notebook. Check your notebook regularly for notes Lord Winklebottom has made about characters you've met. Okay, we can do that. Should we have a look? Admiral Aristotle Gilfrey sent mysterious invitation, lives on an isolated island. I think that's the only person we've got any info on at the moment, so let's go. What's in here? You know, we really must replace this waste paper bin. It's starting to look rather ragged. Yes, and whose fault is that? Don't know why you keep buying these straw ones. You know you can't resist a nibble when you're packing. <laughs> As I say, we should replace it. Yeah, it's a nice new straw basket, I think. I love that he's eating it, it's fantastic. Ooh, who's this? Ah, do you remember this case? Hoxton Fox Gang, wasn't it? Made a mint selling forgeries of famous works of art, until you stepped in. That's right, get this one as a souvenir. It's a reproduction of the goat with a pearl earring. Very nice. Uh, what else do we have in here? We Can we look in the desk? No, we can, we can turn the lamp on and off, though. It's a scarf. That is a very long scarf. scarf. Shame it's a bit on the short side, though. <laughs> I suppose for a giraffe it might well be. Ah, the streets of London. 
Fair to say we've seen this city at its best and its worst over the years, eh, Frumple? Nanny used to tell me the streets of London were paved with gold. Daft old bird. <laughs> it's just stone and dirt, same as everywhere else. Ever the optimist, my friend. Oh, I already love Frumple. He's such a great character. Right, should we make should we make tea? Now to pour some out for the good doctor. I'm gonna purposely make it wrong for him. <laughs> Items you've picked up can be found in your inventory at the bottom of the screen. Click and drag the items to combine them. Okay, right click an item to examine it. Let's put the milk I'll take in this first. Because of the old bones, you know. Right, milk's going in first because we've brewed a pot of tea, as I explained earlier. So, I put the milk in the cup. There we go. And then we put in our freshly brewed tea. And in with the tea. And we've made the perfect cup of tea. Here you are then, a nice fresh cup of tea. Ah, that's much better. I say, this tastes a bit off. Did you put the milk in first? From Paul, we are going to fall out. That wrong? We're going to fall out. Wrong? What sort of animal do you think I am? A most fine one, my friend. Come along, we need to be off. The ticket says we are to meet a Mr. Walters at the docks, and he'll sail us out to Gilfrey's Island. Oh, very well. I suppose this will have to do milk first, I ask you. That, that's it. I take back everything I said about Frumple. Ah, I, I don't like him anymore. Sea air. It takes me back to my childhood holidays on the coast with Gilfrey. Even then, you could tell the old boy was destined for a life on the waves. Don't much care for it myself. Went on a ghastly school trip to Blackpool as a lad. <laughs> Tried to go on a donkey ride. Donkey was furious. He told me I was too heavy. Wretched fellow. <laughs> well, never mind that God. now, old boy. We need to find the docks and this salty Walters chap who's going to take us over to Guildford's Island. All right, here we are. Good old-fashioned British pub. Look at this. The King's Snout. One of the old English kings lost his head in the Great Frog War, if I remember my history. Careless, if you ask me. Does sound a little bit careless, I suppose, in a strange way. Here's Salty Waters, then. So we're looking for a bulldog. Sailor, taking us to Ireland. Okay. So, ooh, who's this? Landlord. Let me in, you bleeding crooked canine. Oh, uh, hello, sir. Sorry. <laughs> in a bit of a jam here. Uh, greetings. A good day to you, sir. If bleeding well isn't a good day, that reprobate Walters has locked me out of my own pub. I do oh. apologise, sir. I shouldn't take it out on you, like. But he's going to drive me out of business if I don't get back in there to stop him. Indeed, <laughs> so. Quite the predicament. Uh, let's ask about the pub. So this is your establishment, I take it? Indeed so, sir. It used to be my father's. But I took it over as the oldest of the litter. We do a good trade serving the sailors and dock workers, even if you have to put up with less savoury characters from time to time. I say, when Cabotum, I do hope he's not talking about the chap who's meant to sail us out of the island. Yeah, hopefully not. Um, let's ask about the door. Can we help you get the door open? I'm rather afraid I have business with this Walters fellow. He's bleeding well gone and locked the door from the inside. And my spare key is in my bedroom on the top floor. How am I meant to get up there? Sounds rather like your fault, eh, what? I do have a certain talent for retrieving things from high places, That's yes. what I was thinking oh, as well. you wouldn't mind, sir. It's a window on the right up there. Not the left one, that leads to the hallway, and we had it sealed up as it lets a proper terrible draft in right through the pub. We catch our death if you open that Yeah, one. we don't want to do that. All right, so the right one it is. Um, let's look in. <laughs> Very convenient. Hey, look, there's a load of jewellery here. Let's look at ah, this. pearls for a swine. Uh, do, do we want to take the jewellery? Probably not, right? It doesn't belong to us, and we seem like good guys, so let's just take the keys. Uh-oh. I can see them, but they're rather frustratingly out of reach. Oh, that's a bit annoying. Maybe we are going to need to use the jewels. Unless there's an item outside we can perhaps use. Maybe something over here? A number of wooden barrels. They all seem to be sealed up and in use. Okay. So there's the docks. There's more barrels. Uh, can we, t we can take a bottle. I'm not quite sure what I want this for, but what did I do? Okay, we've got a bottle. Can we take the other one? Picking up litter, eh? Very public spirited. We've got to keep the place clean, you know. Uh, should we head to the docks? Let's see what's at the docks. Maybe there's an item there that can help us. <gasps> Check out these guys. Box of tools, maybe. No, from... we might be able to make use of this saw. Blimey, not the friendliest chap, is he? <laughs> Seagulls. Excuse me, sir, would you mind? <laughs> I say, there's really no need for that. Here's a looking blighter. I'm giving well away. Yeah, these guys are very, very aggressive. <laughs> 
if I don't know sort of where where you guys are watching this from in the world, but yeah, the the seagulls here are very very aggressive. They will you know swoop down and steal your food out of your hands. They they will just just come for you basically. Excuse me, sir. Would you mind? I say, there's really no need for that. There's a looking blighter. I'm giving well away. Yeah, let's keep away from him. Can we can we take the tools? You know, Frumple, we might be able to make use of this saw. No, he's definitely not going to let us. Not the friendliest chap, is he? So, I don't think we have anything which can help us out at the moment. <gasps> there is a rope. Perhaps we can take that. Let's take this with us, just in case. Okay, the rope could come in handy. There's also a boat hook. Can a we take hook. that? This should come in handy. Yes, we can. Uh, let's talk to the dock worker. I say, old chap, a moment of your time. Uh, hello. Greetings, my good man. Good day to you. What can I do for you? <laughs> uh, salty waters. I have a ticket for conveyance of myself and my colleague here with a Mr. Walters. I, I wonder if you know the gentleman. That lay about. Oh, I know him all right. But you'll not be going anywhere with him till he pays his docking fees. Nobody leaves this dock without my say-so. Right. No docking fees, no permit to leave. I say, Winklebottom, this Walters fellow sounds like a flaggy sort of character. He, he does, actually, yeah. Uh, let's ask about the permit. Well, can we discuss this permit? Uh, obtain permit? How might we obtain a permit to allow us to leave the dock? Well, you could get Walters to pay his docking fees, but that's not likely to happen. Tell you what, I'm a bit short-staffed today. So you help me with repairing this ship. I'll give you a permit. Manual labour? Don't much like the sound of that. <laughs> I have a surgeon's hands, don't you know? <laughs> Alright, how can we help? Well, what can we do to help? I can do the actual work, but I've run out of wood. I need some planks or something. Very well, we shall obtain some wood for you. Also, this barrel of tar here solidify. I don't need much, but I need a way to melt some of it. Some way to melt the tar, I see. Shouldn't be a problem for a genius like you, eh what? <laughs> hey what? Right then, Frumble, let's see what we can do about getting hold of this permit. Alright, so we need this permit then. So, we're going to need something to melt the tar, and we're going to need some wood to fix that. Can we do anything with the small boat? I say, Winklebottom, have a look at this tiny little boat. Wouldn't find some chances to run across the sea in that thing, eh? Quite so, old man. Yeah, we definitely don't want to do that. Right, let's head back to the pub then. Perhaps there is something we can... Oi, get away from that window. That's in a terrible draft, it does. Alright, alright. Jeez, him and that window. The door to the pub is locked. Yes, and the fellow over there seems rather put out by it. Yes, he is rather put out by it, isn't he? Um, right. So. Perhaps we can use, like, this boat hook to grab these. Ah, yes, this seems to be just the ticket. Perhaps I should keep this hook for collecting out of reach leaves. Why not? Sounds like a good idea. So. Good news, I got your keys back. Right then, this should do the trick. Thank you kindly, sir. Right then, let's see what that bleeder has been up to in my pub. <laughs> oh, I dread <laughs> to think. being in that fellow's shoes, eh? Well, I guess we can go in and see. You're bleeding well paid for this, Walt. There's a lot of you're done. This bleeding bowel is bleeding well empty now. Huh? Get out, yeah? He's drunk all the beer. Keep your snout out of me business. I'll be leaving on my own time. I've only taken no orders from a landlubber like you. I say, from him, this is the chap who's going to sail us to the island. Fellow looks like he's barely able to stand, let alone sail the ship. <laughs> yeah, that's quite true. Um, what's this barrel about? A barrel made of wooden planks. It's empty. Can we take it? I say, Barkeep, would you mind awfully if I took this empty barrel? You'd be doing me a favour. That beer-soaked bulldog has emptied it anyway. Damned if I can figure out where you keep all this stuff, Winklebottom. <laughs> the mystical adventure game inventory. Um, can we break that up then for the wood, maybe? Oh, so there's a lot of glasses here. Can we take the take hey, glass? Get your pilfering paws off those glasses. They be mine here. There's nothing in there. They're empty, mate. Oi, what is it? Uh, greetings. Greetings, my good man. Well, spit it out. What were you wanting, stranger? Uh, sailing. You are Salty Walters, I take it? That I am, and don't you be forgetting it, neither. We won't. Then you are to take us to the Isle of Barghest. No, I be staying here with me drinks. I'll not be sailing today, not for you or anyone else. No, you'll be I sailing us. Rosa. You have tickets, you know. Pay for in advance. No. Yeah. Uh, drinks? Now look here, you bounder. We have tickets, and you will jolly well sail us out to that island, dash it all. I won't be sailing today. I drinks me beer to wash away the terrible taste of the salty seawater. Hates it, I does. 
I'll not be sailing again for a while now that I've got that accursed taste out of me system. Ironic that a man named Salty should hate the taste of seawater, so isn't it, Crumple? It is yeah, a little bit. Convenient, if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, goodbye. Well, goodbye then. That though seems more than a little worse for wear, thanks to all that beer. Yeah. Seem a bit drunk, mate. We might have to do something about that in a minute. Uh, who's this? Patron. I say, Winklebottom. That fellow looks like a bit of a bore. Hey, what? <laughs> yeah, it's very good, Crumple. Yeah, if you say so. Uh, Fireplace? This fireplace is as cool as the atmosphere in here. I like the music though. So we've got some paintings, some what are these? Glass balls. I have no idea what these are for, because they look terribly nautical. Yeah, they do. <laughs> they do actually. Uh rum jug. Get your bleed news off. Uh, I mean, would you mind leaving that where it is, please, sir? Oh, Lisa, doesn't know those are data, these thieving bleeders. Do you? Well, that, that's that's not oh, can we? Last drinks. Oh, terrible siren song me that. Last orders are upon us all. Yeah, I see. Last orders. Now he's going to go out. Quick, you rapacious rapscallion. I be needing more beer. Ah, can we swipe that? Just one minute. Don't think he can be pinching my pint just because I be looking the other way. That be my eager thieving scallywag. Who's off it? Ah, I wonder if we need to ah, put... Ah, but a false alarm. I wonder if we need to put something into there then? Perhaps we need another drink? Uh, patron, street. Let's head back out to the street then. Uh, right, so we've got a couple of bits of pieces. We've got the wood for hopefully rebuilding the boat, I would hope. Whether or not we can just... I'm not really sure what the plan is here. No, so perhaps we're going to have to to break it up, maybe with this. I have reservations about doing this. Yeah, so we're going to need the saw. You know, Frumple, we might be able to make use of this saw. Blimey, we've got not the friendliest chap, is he? We've got unfriendly seagull here getting in our way. Um, unfriendly seagull, do you want to be introduced to this this hook? I have reservations about doing this. <laughs> Apparently not. All right then, guys. Well, we are out of time. So actually, I would like you guys to go and play this for yourself. You can get the demo for free on Steam. I'll leave a link to the Steam page in the description below. But so far, I'm really, really loving this. I love the whole setting. It's so classically British from this sort of era. It's it's just really, really wonderful to play. It's so it's it's it's, it's so sort of like light light hearted and funny. Um, but yeah, I just I love the way that it's drawn as well. I think the way it's drawn is is just lovely to look at. So I'm I'm excited to see what else comes of this game um, when the full release comes out. But for now, go ahead and play it. Wishlist it. Support the indie devs. Do everything you can to help support this project. And thank you very much for watching. A big thank you as well to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Termini Nerdy, and Paul from the Phantom Fellows for all the support on the channel. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video. Hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you all next time. Good sir.